Hello folks. So in this video, I'm going to cover step by step approach of creating the bins or, you know, performing uh, binning using uh, uh, Python. And, uh, you know, if I say more specifically, I would be using Pandas library to perform mathematical operations to create bins. Uh, this is an extension of a previous video where I explained the concept uh, in detail, uh, the concept of binning or discretization in detail. And in this video, I'm going to show you the implementation details of it. Okay. And by creating uh, the bins, you can create uh, increase the efficiency of your machine learning model. So keep on watching uh, till the end of uh, end of the video to get the details on this uh, of this particular step, uh, just like uh, we did in, uh, you know, one hot encoding related video. Okay. So folks, uh, this is Nitin, uh, who is uh, on a mission to democratize the artificial intelligence, big data Hadoop, cloud computing and blockchain to the entire world. And with this aim, I am creating the associated content and publishing it on the periodic basis in order to make it available for the entire community who wants to learn these modern technologies. And you can subscribe to my channel or press the bell icon to receive, uh, you know, um, or bell icon to keep on getting the latest updates regarding hottest technologies of the 21st century. And you can also follow me on Twitter at the link given here, right up there. Okay. And I have also added subtitles in uh, languages like Hindi, English, and French for your convenience. You can see on the top. Okay. So you can enable them uh, as per your needs, okay? So I will uh, take an example of a binning, uh, you know, uh, numerical values uh, of uh, uh, a sepal length. So uh, I'm again going to use this iris uh, data set and uh, I'm going to uh, utilize the sepal length column uh, in which I will be converting the uh, uh, numerical values of uh, variable uh, the sepal length into categories or bins. Okay, so let me open the Jupyter notebook first, and I will explain the uh, you know the Python line of codes uh, step by step. So this time I have changed the strategy a little bit. Uh, this time I just uh, no in spite of writing the code in front of you, I just wrote down the all the uh, you know Python code. Uh, in the beginning itself okay and here i'm going to explain you the step by step uh, uh, line i mean each and every line of code in detail uh, rather than uh, you know typing uh, all the code in front of you so that we can save some time okay so this is a change in the strategy let me know if you don't like this strategy and i will uh, revert back to the old strategy wherein we i was you know i used to in fact write code in front of you all right, so without further delay, let me open the Jupyter Notebook. So here is the uh, binning or discretization Python code which I have written. Okay, and uh, just wanted to save some, some time as I told you earlier. So here, uh, what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to, uh, you know, utilize the variable uh, called sepal length cm of the iris data set. Okay, and uh, let me do one thing first. So the sepal length CM is the column which I'm going to utilize. And, uh, you know, I'm going to create the categories out of this particular uh, numerical column. All right, because the topic says that we need to convert the numerical variable into categorical value variable. And uh, the process is called binning or discretization. So I'm uh, that's what I'm doing here. I'm utilizing this particular uh, column create the categories or bins okay so you can see uh, i have created this column uh, sorry uh, variable okay uh, sepal length ranges where i am giving range as 4 to 8 okay so so you can see that 4 to 8 this is the range i am giving here uh, in this code you can see that th this is nothing but uh, the parameter uh, it, it's just a format which is going to hold the values of uh, parameters we are going to utilize in this code. So sepal length in ranges four to eight, okay? So four is the minimum value, eight is the maximum value, and uh, one is the in interval width, okay? So um, 
interval width one so that means each and every value is separated by one unit one so four to five there is a difference of one five to six the difference of one six to seven difference of one and seven to eight is difference of one again so this is kind of an interval so here the interval value is one okay right so that's what i'm doing here uh, you can see the code here as uh, you know in in the output in fact uh, when I ran this uh, particular or try to see the value of this particular variable, you can see the uh, bins created. There were there are four bins which are created here. Okay, four to five, five to six, six to seven, and seven to eight. All right. And if I see uh, the next line of code, which is a count sepal length, so. This is nothing, just wanted to show you that there are four intervals or uh, not intervals, uh, four categories or four bins here, right? So this is the count of bins which we have created in this using this line of code, okay? So in a nutshell, uh, we just defined uh, the number of bins or, uh, you know, what kind of range we are going to give to these bins here, okay? So and the interval in fact uh, is an important one so we kept the interval as one so define and the reason uh, i utilize four to eight range is that because uh, the values in this particular column sepal length cm ranges from 4.3 to 7.9 okay so the maximum value in this column is 7.9 and the minimum is 4.3 so that's why i kept the value as four as minimum and eight as maximum and and we have created four bins here okay in the next line of code i just try to show you the number of bins here count of number of bins now in this particular line of code what i'm doing here is uh, i'm just trying to uh, utilize the cut method of pandas uh, you know pandas data frame uh, in fact the pandas library so Pandas library has this cut method which we can utilize to create the uh, bins okay uh, with respect to so basically uh, what I'm trying to do here is I am creating a new column which is sepal and cm you can see here sepal and cm I'm creating a new column here and utilizing this cut method uh, on this particular column okay sepal and cm now the bins is the so number of the bins how many I mentioned Four, right so count sepal length ranges is depicting this bins uh, parameter right so let me explain one by one uh, what these parameters signifies so there are uh, several arguments or parameters as we see here and we need to pass the cut method first and this cut method has these different parameters like we see here we have uh, argument x argument bins and argument labels right so number one argument this x is uh, this x uh, does nothing but it will contain the value of a, a data frame column on which we need to uh, create these bins okay i repeat this particular uh, argument contains the value of a column data frame column on which we want to create the bins or categories okay the second argument is uh, bins and we are passing number of bins we want to create and the uh, and this variable count sepal length ranges represent that value which is four okay now the third argument uh, for the cut method is labels for the argument labels we uh, specify the labels for our returned bin uh, column which is the list we created above uh, you know which we assigned to the variable sepal length ranges so you can see the here right so sepal length ranges so that's what we can specify here okay and with the returned um, uh, output of the cut method we are creating this new column called sepal length cm underscore ranges okay so you can see the output here uh, we have created this and you can see that 5.1 the value of this 5.1 lies in this particular bin 4 to 5 similar is the case with 4.9 okay and uh, 
all other values listed here. Had it been a uh, 7.9, then the bin value or uh, the sepal length range cm underscore range value would be 7 to 8 here. Okay. So if if you don't want to see that, uh, I mean just the limited number of rows, you can just you know uh, run. Uh, in fact, uh, try to print this df data frame value to see the uh, output uh, in terms of these bins for all the observations. Okay. So here in this particular uh, uh, line of code, what I'm trying to do is uh, I'm calculating the number of number or uh, in fact number or count of values within each bin. Uh, or category in this line uh, in this particular piece of code so I can see that in, in between uh, 5 to 6 there are 50 observations so 50 observations as in these observations sepal and cm okay so meaning in between 5 to 6 uh, 5 to 6 bin so this is one bin 5 to 6 okay so in this bin we have 50 values okay and in between 4 to 5, I have 45 values of sepal length CM. And in between 6 to 7, I have 43 values or observations in between 6 to 7 uh, bin of sep uh, sepal length CM. Okay. And in this particular bin, 7 to 8, I have 12 observations or values. Okay. So I can, we can utilize uh, this particular code to see the number of or count the number of observation in each bin okay so using this method called value underscore counts all right now one thing to note here uh, is folks that this particular object sepal underscore length underscore hist underscore df is nothing but a series object okay so this is panda series object so we just need to uh, convert it into data frame first, okay, for further processing because I wanted to create this histogram, uh, this particular histogram. So that's why I wanted to uh, convert this uh, particular series object into data frame. So here in this code, I've done nothing but I have converted the series object into data frame as you can you can see here. So pd.dataframe and then I utilize this uh, series object which is sepal length his df okay and then I resetted the index and again the df uh, range dot hist columns equals to so I basically am uh, manually defining the column names here okay for this particular data frame so you can see sepal length cm underscore range is one variable or one column and another column is count okay so I have created a data frame out of series object here okay in order to use it for further processing okay there's no different as you can see here in series object also we have bin and uh, count of values here also we have bin values and the count okay so let me move on to another code which is this one okay so lastly, I have created a bar chart out of these bin values. So you can see uh, here, okay, on the x-axis, I have defined the bins 5 to 6, 4 to 5, 6 to 7, 7 to 8. And um, in, in fact, these bins are also called as the categories. So kind of we have converted the numerical values into four categories, okay, utilizing a categories or bins I can say that and in the uh, y-axis I have the count so x-axis we have bins or categories and y-axis we have count of values with respect to each category or bin okay so number one uh, we had uh, in between five to six we have 50 observations so you can see that the uh, you know the bar chart shows 50 okay here and in case of four to five we had 45 observations of count, so it is lying here, okay, 45. Similar is the case with 6 to 7 and 7 to 8, okay. So folks, uh, this is it for this uh, video. Uh, to conclude, uh, 
uh, I showed how to convert numerical variables to categorical variables by using binning or creating bins or categories using Panda's cut method. I also created a bar chart as you can see here, right, on bin values. So, folks, please uh, comment. Uh, po in fact, post your comments uh, or uh, you know provide your feedback in the comment section given below because you know some of the best tips and feedback come from you only. Okay. Uh, so, if you're watching this video and you're not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. And in case you have already subscribed, then click on bell icon to receive the notifications whenever uh, whenever I will release new video so thanks for hanging out uh, with us guys i will be converting uh, covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching thank you